Welcome to this week of Fly Rod Chronicles. We're getting ready to fly out up to Labrador. You know, Labrador, Canada has been on my bucket list and I've been wanting to check it off. Those Labrador brook trout are known for getting huge. My goal is to go up and catch that five pound plus brook trout. And I want you to come along with me as we go to Eagle River Trout Lodge and spend a week chasing the brook trout of my dreams. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming, and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, there's no Tim Hortons out here. I'm, uh, when these guys take off, you can see they're taking, uh, taking the old stuff out and the new stuff in. So uh, when this plane takes off, no more Walmarts. I met Curtis getting out of the plane there on uh, Sunday morning. Looking forward to uh, spending a week on the water with him. And the uh, well, first one I saw the young boys, I said, I know we're going to make out a pretty good week with those. And we did. All right, we just landed and we're at Eagle River Lodge. And you can see right here in the background, we got brook trout being caught. Welcome to this week of Fly Rod Chronicles. If you aren't excited, I am. boy, Joe. Tiny guy, yeah, you know, little tiny guy. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be epic. And here at the Eagle River Trout Lodge, we uh, offer some real big uh, trout fishing here, and we get some uh, real big brookies here. You know, four and a half pounding times is only a tiny one, you know. But yeah, we, uh, we do some nice trout here. You know, I just bought a book that was um, the 50 places that you must visit before you die. Labrador was it. It's always been on my bucket list. And to come up here and to be with the guides like Ivan and the people it's surrounding is, is amazing. I mean, Ivan is like a big little kid. He reminds me of us what we do and just his personality kept us going through the shoot. Okay, Ivan setting up the boat. Um, looks like he's waiting on me. Everybody always waiting on me. Ivan. Yes, sir. You ready to go? You ready to go, sir. Okay. How about you? I, I, you know, I've not caught a big brook trout up here and it's the first time in Labrador. Well, I hope you're gonna see some. Okay. Sometime soon. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So. So you, you just got some places that we'll go and we'll throw from the boat today? And, yeah, you yeah. gotta go from the boat today because the water's too high for uh, waiting around today, so. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. Okay, and you, you guarantee like big fish, right? And lots of fish. Guaranteed a lot. Uh, lots. Yeah, and big. Okay, well there you yeah. go. We'll take you up on We're that. gonna go where the big ones eat the small ones. Is that where we're gonna go? <laughs> well, I brought a big rod and a small rod. Well, the big rod gotta go for the big fish. Okay, we'll yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> As a kid, I remember going up into Adirondack. You know, when, when you get up north, it has a certain smell to it. You know, you just instantly, you look around and you see the spruce and the, the pines and, and, and the woods. As soon as we arrived here, it just brought back those childhood memories of being a boy and going up into this vast wilderness. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool feeling when you can go to a place and it still be virgin and unchartered, untouched waters like we got to fish. I might have got a bump right there. There we go, there we go. <laughs> fish on, first cast. I'm gonna bring him right over here too. Well, that's a good fish, huh? Really good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Guys, I'm coming to you if you want to okay. the boat. Just stand still and don't worry about the boat. She's not gonna flip. Yeah! 
<laughs> now that's, that's what we're talking piece. about, Ivan. That's a big one. That's a good one. How big is that, Ivan? Oh, this is five, five and a half. <laughs> five, five and a half. See that, Chad? Five. Woo! Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those white fins. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. Wow. Wow. Nice fish, Kirk. Thank Good you, job. thank you, thank you. Let it go? Okay. Ho, ho. Ivan. That's it right there, buddy. That's it. Five pound brookie, huh? Ooh. That's sweet. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Fly Rod Chronicles Signature Rods. This is big water, big rocks, um, lots of turbulence. We were in canoes. Um, canoes, it's a cool vessel, but they're not the most stable vessel in the world. So I'm sure when we compile all the footage, you're gonna see my feet in the air and uh, almost tipping a canoe or two. But you know what? That's what you need up here to maneuver around these big boulders and rock gardens. You, you okay? Got your rod on your left arm. What did we hit? Curtis has got little problems staying on the seat of the boat sometimes, but you know, it all works out. You know what's cool too? is we got a little break. You know, they said, do you want to go on a hike? And when anybody ever asks me if I want to go on a hike, I always say how far and how tough. So I mean, this is something else you offer is uh, to hike back in for, for the, the, the brook trout and the pike, huh? Yeah, we do this quite often. Yeah. So you just take a boat down as far as you can and then you, you hike it back in, huh? Yeah, that's right, yeah. But it's not a tough hike, really. No, it's not tough at all. Just take the time. We'll uh, take it about a half an hour. Pretty cool to be out in the wild, be able to see a moose like that. Dave, uh, who's known as Moose Man, does a lot of guiding. You might think that he had some bad chili for lunch, but um, he's actually calling to the moose and you can see it's got its attention. Looks like we got competition. Moose is wanting to get to the water. It's the best fishing spot before us. You know, going to Labrador, you ask any serious fly fisherman, what's your bucket list? Labrador is always up there. I knew I wanted to go there. I knew I wanted to catch a big brook trout. We've been fishing this seam right here, that side of it and the left side of it, but clear over here in what we would call the foam area, I just saw one come up and there, there are stone flies, there's mayflies coming off, but one just ate on top. Man, that's way down there, but, but that would be awesome. Come up and hit it. I got him on. He come up and he smacked it. It's fast water, isn't it? Yeah, take your time, but it's okay. I'm gonna just try to get him to the reel, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over this way. Oh, yeah. He is a fighter. Look at him. Ivan, you picked a good fly. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. We don't know what it's called yet, but it's a good one. <laughs> there we go. There we go, man. All right. Whoa. Thank you, Ivan. Hey, you're welcome, young man. Oh, my goodness.
out in the wild like this, the fins are just perfect on them. I mean, they're just, every piece of this fish could be painted. Oh, definitely. It's yeah. just, it's so gorgeous. And yeah. you, you know, like I was telling you, I mean, I come from West Virginia and you know, that's, that's our state fish. Yeah, that's right. Is a brook trout. Yeah. But to come up here and catch your fish is incredible. That's a really gorgeous fish. We're gonna get some bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you think. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's let's release him. Okay. We're gonna get another one. I don't know what that fly is. Do you know what it is? Uh, no, it's all I know. It's a good one. How about <laughs> we, how how about we call it the uh, the Ivanator? Sounds good to me. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna help you up. Thank you, okay, buddy. buddy. When we plan for a shoot or a trip, we know the weather is a big factor. Um, we got shut down, you know, three days, we were confined to being indoors. We're not going out today, are we? Doesn't look like it, huh? No. No. We gotta sit here and tie flies and tell lies, right? That's a good idea, I can too. do both. <laughs> and maybe even a nap. Uh, guaranteed a nap. You know, um, being at camp with a cast of characters is always fun. Joe and Frank, you know, a couple older gentlemen that has come up to the Eagle River Trout Lodge for the last eight years. Fishing's fabulous. You know, people are great, and that's one of the main reasons I come here. Yeah. Uh, Kay and Ivan and the guides, there, they're just wonderful people. That's awesome. And food's yeah. terrific. Yeah. Nice and warm, beautiful lodge. Can't, it is. You can't, you can't beat it. Yeah. You know, at every meal, we pray. At, before bed, we pray. Um, this time, we prayed a lot. It came down to the wire because of the weather, and we needed a bunch of fish. Woke up this morning, sun shining, water glassy, so we made the headline for it. We had a long boat ride today. Uh, I knew there was a spot up around there somewhere that we can catch some nice fish. Lord, did the prayers come singing through. Because I'm telling you what, did we get into them? And I mean, I get fish drunk. I get totally into the moment. And I was there all day on that last day. Oh, big brook trout, big, big brookie. You know, I wanted to come up here and do some dry fly fishing. The weather got bad, that means the water rose. Had to throw streamers. Do I look heartbroken? When you watch the show and you see my rod bent, do you see me going all daggone it, I wish I'd have caught it on a dry fly? Absolutely not. When you reel in a five, a six, a seven pound brook trout. It's Westervelt Ecological Services, time for conservation. So I noticed they do a tagging system up here in Labrador. They, yep. they put tags in the fish. Yeah. And it's my understanding that we're supposed to call in to the game and fish and let them know about the tags. Yeah. And, and it's a conservation friendly thing to do because I, I've read that these fish will travel up to 30 miles from lake. Oh yeah, no lake. problem. We, uh, we tagged them a few years ago with them in front of the camp. Yep. And we've uh, caught them like 10 miles up the tags in them. That's crazy. Maybe even over 10 miles. Yeah. yeah. We'll be able to tell where he goes through the tagging system. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. very cool. That's yeah. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. That is our Westervelt conservation segment right there. She goes. And, and that, that's really cool. Thanks for explaining that to me. No problem. Thank you, brother. Yeah, we always have a great uh, shore lunch. We bring up everything and trout right out of the water, chili, fresh bread rose. Golly. Goes along pretty good. I'd rather be in a mall somewhere, you know, with traffic and people. I hear you talking about Tim Hortons a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta get us something else to eat there. I'll be right back and uh, we'll be doing some more fly rod tronicle right here. And here at the Eagle River Trout Lodge, we uh, offer some real big uh, trout fishing here and 
We have a very beautiful lodge here. Uh, there's two beds in a room. Every room got their own shower, its own toilet, no outdoor stuff. You know, everything is perfectly clean. Uh, nine uh, wood stoves, uh, hair blown wood furnace back there, hot water, da da. It's a beautiful spot. I've been here 10 years. We've had guys here, the, uh, you know, it's unreal. They don't even want to go back. To be able to come up here and catch wild fish, catch big monster brookie trout, it, it just don't get any better. And it ties me back to my roots. I mean, that's what we grew up doing was fishing for brook trout. And it's kind of neat how, you know, I'm still that little kid. Fish on, fish on. Jesus. Jeez. 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 You gotta be kidding me. That's a brook trout, huh? Golly. I, here, you keep him in the water. I gotta show these guys a trick. So, I'm, uh, uh, real quick, I'm just gonna measure him. So, I'm trying to think where my measuring thing is. But, but Ivan, look here. I forgot where my measuring thing is. Oh, wait a minute, it hit me. Hold on. It's right in here. This automatic. You're ain't. amazed, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> aren't you amazed? <laughs> yeah, I get this white glove on. Yeah. I just want to I just want a moon law. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 22. Yep, yep, yep. 22 inches. Yeah. Big old brook trap. Oh, you want you want me to put this back on? What? This here? Well, hold on. Yeah. Did you want me to put this back? Yeah, sure. All right. So hit that. You like that, don't you? <laughs> you like that, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Gosh, that's a brute. Woo! Nothing like it, young man. You know, our setup was a little different than normal. Um, we were losing a lot of flies to pike. So we had some decisions to make. Um, we threw on a bite guard and some really, really big flies. And we thought, you know what? We'll just catch a few pike. Pike makes great TV. Oh, baby. What we found out is that the trout was eating the big fly. It blew our mind. We were using a full sinking line and we were getting on the bottom of the river. It didn't bother them a bit. I think it was the reason that we caught bigger brook trout. You know, you'll, you'll see in this scene right here, um, Ivan, <laughs> sorry, he, he, he's trying to net the fish. Oh, and I look back at the camera staff and I'm like, watch this. And every time he goes to net it, I give the fish slack. We did this about three or four times. It's just West Virginia, I guess, good hospitality, bringing it to Canada, but we had fun and Ivan was a good sport with it too. He's wild, man. Golly. What a fighter. Oh, uh, we'll get him up here in our water, right? Yeah, okay. Now you got him. Where'd he go? Oh, he's around, around my life. Right here, here he is, right here. Come here, right here. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold him up so you get him. Ready? I didn't know what was going on with the fish or what it was doing. But anyway, we did get the fish. boy. What a beast, huh? Isn't it? Golly, and you're talking about fighter. It's time for Trout Unlimited's release of the week. Here we go. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> yeah, man. That was a good shot. You did that? <laughs> we fought a good battle, and uh, it all worked out. We got lots of big trout. Anywhere from, well, what we got today was four and a half to five, six pounds. We had a great day. Oh, did you see that rise right there? There he is, baby. We just saw one rise right there. What you got on, bud? I think I got us a brookie. Big old Labrador brook trout. That's a football. Look at that guy. Out of boy, Ivan. There we go. There we go, my man. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> I can't explain what 
a thrill this trip was for me. It's everything and more than I thought it would be. Well, I haven't, your staff, your wife, everyone's first class, and we appreciate you having us up here. And it's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it, and I hope I hope we didn't wear hope you out. Hope you enjoyed your week. Well, we did. We mm -hmm. did. You know, we got blown out a few days with weather, but you got to count on that. That's right. That's that's fishing, right? That Labrador is on the bucket list. Yeah. And I know most Americans say, I want to go to Labrador. I want to catch a five pounder. Yeah. We just caught a six pounder. Yeah. And again, I can't thank you enough. And they're bigger. And they're bigger. <laughs> Come back to Fly Rod Chronicles next week. Fishing all the rivers and the lakes I'd find a real job, but it's too late I'm just a fishing bum If I don't have the gas, then I stick out my thumb I've gotta get there one way or another